Hey everyone, so if you've recently became a secretary or an administrative assistant, your first day is about to start and you don't know what to expect. Perhaps this is your first job or perhaps you're changing career paths. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing five things you can expect to do on your first day as a secretary. Most employers will give you an employee handbook during your onboarding process. You want to make sure you read that handbook and you show up in compliance with the dress code on your first day. Now, on your first day, you might want to play safe and wear neutral colors, nothing too bold. If you want to express your personality eventually, that is not the place to do it on your first day. So keep it safe, guys, and wear something neutral, and that's not going to be a distraction in the workplace. Secondly, don't expect to get too much done during your first day, especially during the first morning hours since most likely you'll be walking around with somebody else that's welcoming you and showing you the different departments and introducing you to different people. Now, don't stress out about figuring out everybody's names right away and memorizing those names. They will eventually come to you, but for the most part, try to be polite and show people that you care and that you're grateful for being there. Now, if you don't have that person showing you around, people will come to you and introduce themselves and that way you can get to know everybody around you and you feel more comfortable as the week progresses. But the meet and greet portion usually is done in the morning. In the afternoon, you might have some downtime. And that's the third thing I wanna bring up today is be active. So when you first start, your employer will most likely not give you all your responsibilities at once. So that means that you may have some downtime in the afternoon. Now that's not the time to start your grocery shopping list or to clean out your purse or to clean up your briefcase this is the time for you to get to know the space that you're working in one thing you can do is visit the company's website to get to know your employer another one is to take a look at your workstation and look at the different resources and supplies that are available in your workspace if they're there they're most likely something that will be useful to you number four is providing great customer service so as a secretary you will engage with a lot of people, whether it's over the phone or in person. And just remember to be polite, stay positive, and be patient. What I like to call the three Ps. Those are basic skills that will guarantee you will be a successful employee at that company. Whether or not you're new, you can still be patient, polite, and positive. And last but not least, number five, be ready. What I mean by that is, I've started positions day one at 100 miles an hour. And it's like, here's your desk, here are the logins for this computer, that's your phone, get to work. What happens then? You wanna be sure you have a foundation to start even though you are a new employee. As a secretary on your first day, let's say your boss asks you to schedule a meeting and gives you a list of individuals to contact. Be sure you have everything you need when sending out that email or making a phone call. The strategy to learn is who, why, where, and when. Those are the four components of a meeting. Who will be attending, what is the meeting about, where is it gonna be, and what time is it gonna be. If you have that down on your first day and you schedule that meeting successfully, that's a great first impression. If a person calls with an issue, the last thing you wanna do is play the this is my first day card. First of all, they might not necessarily care and it's important for you to handle that problem and prove to your employer that you're the right person for the job. So a great way to handle these kinds of calls is to show empathy to the caller. Help them to realize that you understand where they're coming from. And secondly, if you can't provide a solution to that problem, it's completely okay to take a message or let the person know that you might not know the answer, but that you will follow up with them. And if worse comes to worse, you can say, listen, this is my first day. I appreciate you being patient with me. I will be sure to do my best to find a solution to this issue. And most times people will understand. If you've learned something today, please consider dropping a like and commenting and subscribing to this channel so I can know to bring more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching. This is Diego with the Startup Channel. I came from the mud.